Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. Pull your fucking butt out. Let's go. The food was shat upon. We're shooting a hardcore gay porno. You should really be hanging your hat on your dick, bro. Strap in. Yeah. Pretty good. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, classic. That's the entrance mm. one. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> now you're leaning into it. I love it. We're back. Yeah, way to kick it off with a couple of those. Don't even talk today. Yeah, last week you were really fucking blowing it, Beezer. Yeah, well, the board is fully locked and loaded. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. All right. Hell yeah. Austin 316, baby. So tight. Let's go, baby. I'm hyped. Have you guys met him? Did you guys ever meet Stone Cold? No. Oh, my God. If I met... Oh. I met him and shook his hand, and his hand was just fucking muscled up, like thick, like a thick paw. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's like the real deal. You know, so yeah. some... I've met a handful of wrestlers, and they're all, like, doing some sort of zany character that isn't really them. They for sure put it on. And right. for sure, because if you don't, you're just a total psychopath. But uh, Stone Cold is, like, the one guy that, like, he is that guy. He is, like, the denim dude who who just chugs beers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his speeches. It works for him. He's so inspiring to me. Like, I would vote for that guy. For what? Anything. No. No, dude. No. For anything? City comptroller. Oh, the- I mean, fucking Jesse Ventura was a governor of uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. And he, I turned things around for the, <laughs> the great state of Minnesota. But the thing is, he shouldn't have been. I, we, we need to stop electing just just celebrities Wait. for celebrity's sake. Okay. But you don't like alternative views? Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, wait, what is, was he bad? Do we know if Jesse Ventura was actually bad? He seems like he would be. He does seem like he would be, and then I think he turned out okay, and then I don't know what happened to him. He's he's turned a little weird lately. Oh, he's gotten kooky. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you if you want me to kick your governor's ass, give me a hell yeah, hell yeah, baby. <laughs> I mean, dude, <laughs> keep it real. That's kind of what politics is right now, anyways. Like it feels like wrestling. Yeah. So let's go. Feels like the WWE. It does. My gosh. Where would he be a governor? Texas. Like obviously he could run for president. Is he from Texas? Yeah. Yeah, the Texas state bird, bro. Yeah, damn right. Uh Tito Ortiz ran for I don't know if he won, but he ran for like I want to say mayor of Huntington Beach, which makes perfect Super sense, sad. but he was sickest mayor. Yeah, he he was there's just like uh uh like Tito Ortiz fucking people were flying his flag all over Huntington. It was it was an, quite the event. He would be the worst mayor. <laughs> I didn't realize it was actually him. It's just like all fights are legal. Like all every <laughs> like it, it's like any brawl is good to go. I don't know if did you guys ever watch that documentary? The documentary on uh it was him and fuck another dude who like they battled uh a few times and like the other guy seemed kind of like smart about it and Tito just didn't seem like he had a full grasp of like what, of fighting? No, 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 just outside of fighting. Awesome fighter. Dude's a fucking hard-ass uh, champion. Okay, you meant, I'm sorry, I, 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 you meant like during the pre-interview or something? Dur in the documentary. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, and what'd you think about XYZ that's like outside of fighting? And he's like, dude, I, I fight, okay? And you're like, okay. 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 All right, well, don't get All into right. trouble in Huntington Beach then because he is on the Huntington Beach City Council. He won. That's great. He won the City Council seat. Good yeah. Good for them. Good for them. He was waiting for the belt. He's like, where's the belt? They're like, it's a whole different <laughs> they thing. They should make that. I <laughs> the, feel like. The medal? He could probably uh, enact the thing that I want to have where if you catch a parking attendant giving you a ticket, if they're in the act of it, you should mm -hmm. be able to fight them to see if. Really? Well, you know, I mean, I told this story on the podcast a handful of weeks ago. Remember, I was getting a ticket, and yeah. she goes, oh, that's 
Do you live here? And I go, yeah, I, I, sorry, I forgot it was street sleep, uh, sweeping. And she goes, oh, okay, just rip it up. It's fine. Right. But imagine now if you had to fight her. Oh, I would have beat the shit out of that lady. There you go. If you say, if you said was, rip it up and she said, come get me, yeah. come get it. And then she said, rip, rip, rip this up. Rip this up. Yeah, yeah. I dare you to rip this up. Wait, so I have to fuck her? No, you have to fight <laughs> no. her. No, you have to fight her, bro. Is that how you describe, is that sex to you? Ripping something up? The ripping in the tearing. Damn. Yeah, you're too. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Rip it in the Terran. You're t oh, the ripping in the Terran. Do we have that sound bite? That, that that will be next week. It's on the docket. What is the ripping in the Terran from? I just like am like drawing a blank. What is that? Kyle, the ripping yeah. in the Terran is from one of the greatest internet videos of uh, from yeah. Hedonism Two, mm -hmm. uh, of like the old guy I, in like a G string or something. Speedo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speedo, Speedo, yeah. And he's in good shape. He's in good yeah, shape. He was in pretty good shape, but he was just like talk about how he's so excited for hedonism too. And then goes the ripping in the tear and the ripping in the tear and, and is like humping the air. It's yeah, he had moves. The too. best. He, he could get best. down. I'm here for the ripping in the tear. You saw there there were certain hip gyrations that he was doing that you're like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. He's he went into a class of figure eight. Yeah. Seesaw maneuvers. I actually uh, went recently on like the I went on the Yelp reviews for like the hedonism place, and they kind of got they kind of got shitted on, dude. They oh, said, what do you mean? Really? What? Yeah. It seems like a clean like five star island. Yeah, it seems like a beautiful huh. resort. And first of all, for the people that don't know, hedonism is uh, a, <laughs> like a swingers festival or something. I think it's, I, an I think island. it's a it's a resort. Yeah, Swingers true. Resort. Oh, it is a full-on resort that you could just go to at any time. You, there's not like a big event. I'm right. sure there's many events, but right. okay. Yeah, it's a Jamaican. Uh, it's like a yeah little, little little beach hotel where you go and they have like a nude pool and a, and mm. a not nude pool. <laughs> well, the thing is, the bummer about that stuff is you, it, on paper you're like, oh, that sounds really cool because in your imagination you're thinking it's like Dan Bilzerian's crew of mm -hmm. just like. Yeah, super hard. Or just bodies. Dan Balzarian. You're just like, Dan oh. Balzarian, just butt naked, gl yeah. glistened up. That, <laughs> that, that gorilla booty. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just that high and tight. Uh. And you're thinking a bunch of Dan Balzarians and a few random chicks. Mm -hmm. But that's not right. who's there. That's not who's there. No. That isn't who's there. No, 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 no. It is. It's it, old it, guys it, talking it's about old. ripping and tearing. <laughs> It's guys that are like way too. They all like are too into like eat, drawing dragons and shit. Mm. Yeah, and like for sure, <laughs> they for sure like also collect swords. And then they also can you be too into drawing dragons, Adam? <laughs> they're they're just yeah. also, a what's, thing. <laughs> what's really wrong with that? No, nothing's wrong with that. I'm just saying it's a specific type of person that I feel it's, like if you draw like fantastical uh, mm -hmm. women. Like mm -hmm. if you draw like hot yes. babes on dragons. With dragons crawling around them. Yeah, you also want to go to Hedonism too for the ripping in the Terran. Yeah, the ripping right. in the Terran. It makes sense. That does, right. I, I understand that parallel so well, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. that actually adds up for me a lot. For Dragon sure. yeah. energy. Right. Yeah, if you have like a, a, a knife in a leather satchel that you've fastened, that you mm -hmm. carry around with you, mm -hmm. that you've mm -hmm. made the own leather satchel for your knife, and maybe you even forged your own blade. Yeah. You might go to hedonism. <laughs> <laughs> you might go to hedonism. Can we hear some of these Yelp reviews? I mean, not like verbatim, but like what was the what was the downfall? Like just the crowd or like they shitting on the food? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> was the yeah, the food, the all the chicken tenders? The food was shat upon. The food oh, was shat upon. That's a bummer. Um, okay. Basically, I just don't think I it probably used to go off pretty hard and pretty cool. There's no doubt in my mind. In the nineties, <laughs> but they haven't yeah. updated the rooms. Like people are saying I like all your references are the nine the nineties were really the peak of all existence in Blake's mind. Oh yeah. anytime he talks about something being the best he's like dude in the 90s well i mean we're talking about hedonism it was probably cracking off in the it, it might have been 2000 well we're talking about hedonism too right we're talking about two there's a right. there was another hedonism well, that was just in some guy's pool this is what is i'm that saying what it was <laughs> yeah, it was his pool in new jersey in, in new jersey and <laughs> above ground i don't think they did much of a makeover from one to two like yeah. all the rooms they kind of just put the changed the sign like flipped it down like a calendar day so the accommodations are just dated is what you're saying yeah they said there were like cigarette burns in the in the on, it, on the sheets is that Whoa. bad that's <laughs> 
you, if you go to hedonism too, you got to know what you're getting into. There's going to be some holes and some shit. Yeah, well, that's like that's like a party island, you know. It's like people yeah. are just out there. They're not taking care of it because you're just getting wasted and fucking right. I mean, yeah. that's all you're doing. Well, yeah. basically, what the like most Yelpers, the Yelpers who were there were people who were swingers, and they were basically saying there's much better options than hedonism. Like oh, there's other yeah. options. Yeah. Oh, like, you know, there's you like know there's shit. plenty of. Yeah, there's. What's that new new? What's the new 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 new? Yeah, there's got to be other options if, uh, yeah, th than hedonism for sure. There's there's le layers and levels to that shit. Hedonism yeah. three. Thank hedonism you. Hedonism three on the base. Oh of shit! Are we on that? Are we hitting that trifecta? Yeah. That's something we should franchise. Dang, the third hedonism. You could be the face. You know we would put a Canes in the Hedonism 3. <laughs> Dude. Right as you pull up. Goes you without your, saying. You, you get your chicken tenders. You get your Texas toast. Uh-huh. And then uh, you don't get too greasy. Well, or you do. Maybe that's yeah. what you would grease up with. Who knows? I'm trying to lick that uh, cane sauce off some nipples. Let's Man. go. I'm trying to think if there's like, <laughs> if there is a time in my I'm life. I'm kind huh. of a nasty dude. <laughs> yeah, I would have gone to hedonism too, right? I would have gone at some point. We all would have gone at some point, right? Uh, I think uh, I would have gone. <laughs> um, right? Uh, what right? does that mean exactly? No, I for, I for sure, I for sure would have. Right, guys? I mean, like, like mid twenties, uh, I would have saved up and got a fucking ticket and gone to hedonism too, just for fun. Yeah, at like twenty, twenty three or something, we would have gone. No, no, no. There's no would have. This is a place that we're going to go when <laughs> shit hits the fan and everything goes south. Like, when you get divorced, lose everything, but you still have like ten grand to your name, you blow <laughs> half of that you. at hedonism too. Yeah. That's when you <laughs> Yeah, yeah, baby. Then you hit the restart button. You call your kids and you go, "Look, Daddy's back. I did some you're thinking." Just, you're, you're just covered in herpes sores. Daddy's yeah. back, but it doesn't he, matter. Give me, give Daddy a kissy. Daddy got it out of his system. Your brain is cleared <laughs> out. It's definitely That's not a true. place you go in your twenties. This is a place where, like, you end up. That's a really cool flick where you're just like like a cool story. Everybody's getting <laughs> recently divorced friends yeah. decide to go oh. to hedonism too. Dude. <laughs> the sadness, the sad cuddles. Hey, well that's that's the movie in like in like five five to eight years that we're all writing together, just a group of friends that all <laughs> 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 that's like that's like our grown ups is like, going yeah. to hedonism. Yeah, yeah, it's just a very sad uh yeah. But then actually it's not sad. We get there and we just have an awesome time. There's no real downfall to it. <laughs> well yeah, if somebody we has to fall in love and it's like they're, they're oh, which, yeah. this is real. <laughs> And the girl has to just be like, I'm sorry, I'm just here for the ripping and the tearing. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm an escort. Yeah. Can you imagine how sad to be here. the like the post coital like snuggles session is? That's got to be dark, right? Right. Yeah. Like people are either just like running to be like, I'm done. I'm, uh, 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 they leave, or like you're holding each other and you both just start crying, and it's not even together. It's still alone. It's got to be bad. Well, yeah, because you're getting on a plane. You're in a puddle of flesh at that point. You know there's just right. like big faux leather uh, fuck pits that they mm -hmm. got oh where God. there's just one yeah, guy just that. drawing everybody who's just like, I'm quite the artist. And then he's drawing everybody <laughs> yeah. and drawing dragons <laughs> like, behind them and shit. Can I draw you with a dragon? There's a guy forging steel off to the side. <laughs> is it this in this order? A, why does Adam think this is the most popular thing? <laughs> yeah. Adam like, thinks hedonism is renaissance fair, by the way. It's probably the same crowd. <laughs> it's the same exact thing, Blake. It's the same thing. This is what goes down there. The, the most popular thing is drawing dragons. Uh -huh. then, it, then it's fucking. <laughs> then it's showing pictures of their kids to each other. <laughs> and then it's smelting swords. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, Anders, I don't know if we've ever agreed more. That was it. We are 100%. <laughs> this is, we went We went skiing last year together. This is them. This is, here they are. Uh, wait, uh, don't, bite, just, don't bite it. Just. I uh, was just given this uh, mug through my friends over at Oakland Coffee. And cool. I was, took a drink. And uh, it says our metal mugs are specifically uh, designed and crafted. Please hand wash. Uh, so I for sure didn't wash this cup before I started drinking from it. That's not. I'm not going to die from that, right? 
It's, it's just dirt. Wait, so you just drank it? You drank the the note? I started to drink the note. Uh, and I'm still going to drink it. I'm still going to drink it. Uh, but yeah, I'm fine, right? That's, that's just a little muckety muck. That's just, I'm not. That's not going to hurt you. That's just paper. That's just wet paper, right? Do you remember when uh, I used to work at the improv and they gave me uh, uh, all those glasses for free? Oh, we had so many. And then I was handing them out as as gifts for everyone. Was, they're, they're cool. I worked at the Hollywood Improv Comedy Club. It's a you know cool comedy club. And they gave me all these free glasses, and I'm giving them out to everyone. And the reason that they uh, gave them away is because there was lead in the paint. That's and they right. Could poison you. <laughs> poison you. Whoopsies. Good looking out. Good looking out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I just I just was really hooking everyone up, and and the three of us. We had shelves of that. Oh, yeah. We drank out of those glasses for many years. Oh, for years. Yeah, yeah. And we're fine. Hey, when you were working at that comedy club, do you remember when I did the worst prank phone call ever on you? They won. Mm, it it might have been so good I forgot about it entirely. What? It, what is it? I mean, hey, you're talking about my life, my career. Uh, oh, oh. I had a friend who was a, an assistant oh. to- Why don't you cry about it? An agent. <laughs> Ooh, daddy like. Anders, come on. We do love you, you know? We remember you. Then let me talk. Um, All right. So okay. All right. okay. I was friends with an assistant to an agent who would always call you to like mm -hmm. talk about comics and getting them on stage and shit like that. Uh -huh. And she called. I and was she's the like, gatekeeper, I, yes. I think I talked to Adam and I go, when you talk to him, somehow subtly drop that you were hit by a cement truck as a kid. Oh. oh shit! Yeah, I do remember this. <laughs> and then you were like, and I think I was on the line, and you were like, "Wait, what? That's insane!" I was hit by a cement truck as a kid, and she was like, "Yeah, I was just like trying to get ice cream," and you're like, "Hang on a second. And then it got like, not. It wasn't a good. It was just not fun. Yeah, it, it was. Got, it, it got too real. Where do you go from there? Yeah, I've already won. I've already won. We're trying to out cripple each other. Yeah. I had yeah. I had sixty surgeries. I had sixty uh, surgeries. I had sixty three. So that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Right, yeah, I couldn't right. walk for a year and a half. Well, mine was a solid two years of not being able to walk. How many yeah. bullies did you have? Because I had quite a few. Because I because you were the bully. Yeah, because I kicked them down the stairs. <laughs> I heard I heard I was the bully. <laughs> Because <laughs> guess oh, what? Turned man. on his head. I was the bully. Yeah. <laughs> bully karma. The, the whole time. I'm yeah, that was bully. a fucking clutch. You had a clutch gig, man. I remember you called me because you were like, dude, if you can be here in 15 minutes, Chappelle's about to go up. Yeah. Uh, and I saw Dave Chappelle perform for four hours until dude. three in the morning and was like. He used to hold the room hostage. And that was back <laughs> when I fucking smoked Siggy's and he would smoke on stage and it drove me nuts oh, because I wanted, in? I wanted to smoke so bad. And I was like, yeah. but he's smoking inside. Can I please light up? Well, that's when you should have just stepped outside briefly, smoked a cigarette, came back in. But he would yeah. he would roast you if you got up. He would call attention to you and be like, where are you going? And it's like, that's the last thing I wanted was Chappelle like, calling me out. Yeah. You don't want Chappelle teeing off on you. That'd be your best story ever. I don't want that. I don't want that kind of shit, man. No way. Okay, fair enough. The very first time I, I met Chappelle, I was hosting. It, I think this is the time that... You, you guys are talking about it was I was hosting the Saturday midnight show at the improv mm. and uh, it was like a ugly it was like a Christmas themed show and I told like all the comics and stuff I'm like hey if you guys want to wear like ugly Christmas sweater that'd be hilarious no one did for sure no one did right yeah. <laughs> and I show up in like a, a Christmas <laughs> belly shirt like a total asshole and I'm hosting the thing so I, you know I look like a dick and then Chappelle comes and is like this is first of all his first show back from he hadn't been back in a, in on the west coast since right. he like disappeared and went to right. Africa after the whole uh, Chappelle show uh, Africa. Situ situation and so he came back and it was like a big deal that he was gonna be there yeah and uh and he's like, hey, man, yeah, you mind if I get up? And Great I'm talking to him with, like, my belly hanging out, like the cold gust of wind coming down the hallway and, and hitting and nips flaring up, you know, from the, the cold winter air. And yeah. I, I don't. I'm sure. chubbing. I, sure. You chub? You chubbing? You, chubbing. Does it get your pecker hard, Kyle? Mm. You got me chubbing. Oh, you know, that's uh, 
That gets my pecker hard. So anyways, I told him, uh, I was like, hey, you, you can go on now and we could just bump everybody or you could go on in an, in an hour and so some people could go up and I'll just shorten their times and then you come back and close the shot. And he's like, I'll do that. And so he ke- comes back in an hour <laughs> and was on stage for like six hours. Yeah. It was yeah. like a fully impressed, I couldn't imagine. I, I mean, just talking for six hours is exhausting, let alone like yeah. being cohesive. Yeah. There were moments of uh, funny, but every but the 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 everyone's waiting for like the best experience of their life, and he his thing is he's like I'm not giving you that. We're kicking it. Yeah, I feel like we were watching like True Therapy because he was coming back from like the like leaving Comedy Central and like doing all that, and he I remember him talking a lot about why he did that and what happened and what the real story was, and that was Damn. cool. It and was, then, but it wasn't necessarily just, funny. He, he just did that again like two weeks ago, right? Like, yeah, damn, we helped that, him shape that uh, 12, 12 years ago. Yeah, we shaped that for him <laughs> 10, 12 years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, he did, where it was like boycott. He's got that yeah. Comedy Central demon. He's boycotting his own show, is his angle right now because he's, yeah. he didn't get paid for it. I mean, and they fucking stuck up for him. Yeah. Yeah, I remember being like, wow, this is such a historical comedy event right now that's happening. Like, wow, look at this moment. And and you're the host of the show, Adam. This is pretty cool, dude. And then I'm thinking that, like, while I'm in this fucking belly shirt, <laughs> like, <laughs> fully just drooping out the bottom, I'm like, God, I'm such a fucking asshole. Ugly Christmas sweaters. But then I was like, there's probably a talent scout in the audience right now. <laughs> and if, they, if they're looking for ugly Christmas sweaters. Remember that, though, <laughs> when we were at the, you, the SNL talent scouts came to see Bill Hader. Oh, Ooh. that's right. And yes. you were like, I need you to come here now <laughs> and laugh super loud in the audience. I'm going to go up after Hater. Uh, and we saw Bill Hader do his fucking thing. He came out as like an Italian waiter yeah. from who, like, the kitchen. Yes. Who was, who, I can also do uh, impressions of people. So it was like a pizza, character pizza. doing characters. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he killed it and he was great. And then it was like, all right, keep it going for Adam Devine. And I saw all those talent all scouts. <laughs> Just Just fucking exit the room. They left so quickly. (laughs) All right. (laughs) You're going to want to stick around for this next guy. He's got that store. (laughs) Yeah, he's 22 and works the door. Did you see what you need to see? Yeah, yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's got really funny Christmas sweaters. (laughs) Come on up. There's a gust of wind around his belly. Adam (laughs) Devin. Adam Devin. It's no, that's it's divine actually. (laughs) Sad man Dovine. (laughs) No, not sad man. Where's Adam? It's Adam. That's a name everyone has. (laughs) Saddam. (laughs) Saddam. (laughs) The Bob. (laughs) Saddam Devin. You know my name. Oh my God. (laughs) Saddam Devin. Well, I think you know my name actually. So. Oh man, so tight. That was a cool ass job though, because we would just get to kick it at the bar and chop it up with comedians, and mm-hmm. it's fun. Well, yeah. What was cool is like I, uh, for the most part, it was like it was a lot of me like working the door, and then you guys would come in and drink, and then like every like fifteen minutes, I could like wander over to you and like chop it up for like two minutes, and then I'd have to be like, hold on, real quick, and then have to go check someone's ID. Right. <laughs> But uh, also what right. was cool is, like, we were so, like, broke and impressionable that it would be, like, Dave Attell would come in and buy you a beer and you'd be like, oh, my, that's, like, my favorite comedian now, dude. <laughs> like, he's a god. That's my dude for life. <laughs> he is a god. He is a god, though. Admittedly, it's still cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And what's cool about that gig is a lot of those guys, like, it's hazy for them for sure, but yeah. they, like, put it together. They're, like... I saw uh, David Tell like a year and a half ago in New York at the Comedy Cellar, and I went up right before him and had a really good set and then got off, and he comes out, and I'm like, hey, Dave, uh, Adam Devine, nice to meet you, man. And he goes, we, we know each other, right? And I'm like, I actually used to work at the Hollywood Improv. You bought me and my friend I, that night. I was like, you bought me and my friend's drinks, I think, to make you us leave you alone. And he's like, <laughs> I thought you got I thought you worked at the improv. He was like, mm-hmm. I, I knew I knew you worked at a comedy club. Goes and I'm like, that, it's cool. It's cool that they people can remember shit like that because people come right. up to me and they're like, uh, we went to eight years of school together. And I'm like, cool. Uh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we did? 
Yeah, we grew up together. Our moms are best friends. Uh, I oh. babysat you for 11 years. Mm. Uh, Not ringing any bells, though. I officiated your wedding? What? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's just your style, though, Adam. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's when I go, right on, boss. See you, <laughs> yeah. chief. My guy. Oh, Thanks, big, big dog. dog. <laughs> big dog. <laughs> Thanks, big dog. Oh, yeah, big dog. Oh, that's right. Okay, guy. <laughs> Dude, I if I see somebody who I know I've met or whatever, and I, and I do this all the time because I'm – so bad with names. I mean, I'm sure it's listening hard. to the podcast, you're like, this dude's brain doesn't work, but... No. I, oh, you're so smart. Uh, I always go, uh, mm. thank you. Anders, we like you. I always go, what's up? It's Anders. Always. Mm -hmm. Just to, like, set the table and hopefully, hopefully get a fucking name back so that I can go, yes, I... Roy, how are you? Oh. <laughs> Even if you already know their name, you do that? No, if I if I do or I don't, I just I just do it. I just do it. So that that's why it kind of can come off a little off putting if you know the person and you're like, What's up, Anders? And it's like, Yeah, we did this four yeah. days in a row. <laughs> well, but then you say, Yeah, I just didn't well, not, know yeah. you'd remember me. If it's been a while, obviously. Yeah, it, it that that's a very weird moment when you have to be like, Hey, what is your name again? Like what and so I don't even want to give that to people. My gift to them is telling them my name so they don't have to worry about it. That is a gift. That is a that is a gift. That is a nice thing that you are that you are doing. I'm a giver. But some people get like really bent out of shape if you if they don't if you don't remember them or they the, to Yo, me I'm like I, I don't know like I people could just not know who the fuck I am I'd be totally fine if like I'd met someone before and they were like ah oh, oh, sorry I'm like okay that's fine yeah you know what's funny though unless we like had the best time of our lives and they're like but we <laughs> we're blood brothers don't <laughs> we you have the scar our, we cut our hands yeah. and shook <laughs> yeah, don't you have this scar i do have that scar oh fuck the most brutal shit i heard was when somebody was like this is in the same kind of, kind of conversation they're like you know what though if i don't remember you you're not memorable and i was Ooh. like yeah that's kind of wacky oh yeah, it's wacky on. but like some people even if it's at like a fucking grocery store, if they come up to you and they're like, yo, what's up, man? You need some bananas? You're like, I'm good. They're like, well, cool. If you need anything, I'm Daniel. And they walk away and you go, every time you go to the grocery store, you're like, Daniel. There's fucking Daniel. <laughs> you, you know it. And then yeah. some people are like, they could be the most important person to your like career. And like you meet them and you're like, uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. What's his name? What's his name? Because he was just not memorable dude so true like even in like studio executives in our business like i do not oh. remember oh, yeah. them at all but actors and people with personality it's like hell yeah what's up how are you or an executive with a personality who you're like right oh yeah totally what's up but there's Devin. a lot of people that so you're saying you gotta have a lot of fun uh finger guns if you wear like a cape or an ascot or you just have a really fun scarf in the summer that's that'll it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but then you but then you end up just calling that person scarf guy. <laughs> cape dog. Oh yeah. shit, cape dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, scarf man. Scarf guy is just as cool as like the name cuz you're remembering and now you have like a pet name. So it's like yeah. scarf guy, big scarf. <laughs> right, but then you get to that point where they're like, "Yeah, we're we're winning a place in Big Bear. Do you want to get there this weekend?" And you're like, "Yeah, for sure." And they for name sure. all these people you want to be there with and then like Three days into the weekend, you're just like, yo, um, dude, what is I don't know your name. The worst what thing is, is Scarf Guy's name. What is Scarf Guy's name? The worst thing is when you go on that trip somehow and or like you're somewhere and they see what their name is in your phone and it's like, I'm yeah. fucking Scarf Guy. Oh, <laughs> please tell a story. Yeah, I don't like, have one. Tyler Big Dog. I ha I got a f <laughs> I, this isn't that funny, but uh, I don't have one. The name of the guy who the guy who owns the company that cleans my pool uh, is named Rich. So nice. the other day I got a call in front of somebody and, and it just came up as Rich, Rich guy, Rich pool guy with the pool guy, Rich yeah. pool guy. And they're like, oh, do you know a rich person with a pool? <laughs> it's a guy. And I was like, his name is Rich. His company cleans my pool. Shout out to Rich. Shout out to Rich Pool Guy. Big shout out to Rich. Years good of job. great service. That's a good uh, rap name, too. My fiance to this day is Chloe uh, Final Girls in my phone because I, I met really? her on the, on the set of a, the movie The Final Girls. 
And yeah. now she's the final girl. And she is the final girl. I never put that together. Now she's the final girl. Whoa. She gets the rose. Oh my gosh. Just take that S out. Take that S out, bro. Oh. Exactly. No more plural, man. You got a oh singular my now. Oh my God. She's the final girl. Yo, put that in your vows. <laughs> you put, got to. Put that in your vows, brah. Durs, that's great. Yeah, that's how you wrap it up. And just so everybody knows, she's Chloe Final Girl forever in my <laughs> phone. <Forever. now. laughs> Dude, that's unreal. And I show everyone. <laughs> and we look, here checks. it is. I'm going to get the uh, projector out real quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we could work the IT. <laughs> oh, you plug it in and do a PowerPoint? And then you yeah. show people <laughs> as oh, you do it live. Uh, oh, cool. I would love to see, like, trying to work the Apple TV. Oh, you're, he's subtracting the S? <laughs> you're like, mirror screen. <laughs> Fuck, hang on a second, guys, because it, it is on my phone. Uh, it is. Just let me... You does anyone, is it Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? Yeah. How does it connect? What? He accidentally deletes the whole final girls. He's oh, like, fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe what's uh, your number? Wait, what final girl? Okay, fuck. Uh, the fuck is your number? I gotta upgrade my phone. <laughs> iOS. The worst is when you like, like know someone for years and like don't know their last name. You just know uh, them by like how like they're specifically one of my best friends' fiance now. Uh, his now fiance. I just, it was just Zach's uh, girlfriend, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, Zach's girlfriend, uh, in the phone. And for years, I did not know her last name. Yeah. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't say it on the show. You can't, can't say, say it on the show. Yeah. Of, course. Yeah. of course. Allegedly. Of course. Field. Allegedly. The other thing that I have that's a problem, and I don't know if it's just our biz or LA or whatever, but a lot it's of my LA. homies, I just know by their like Instagram handles. It's like oh. I don't know their real names. It's oh, just... that's fucking you're such a millennial. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I was at a party a few years ago and uh do you know Shane West? Shane he, West. He, sure. Shane West handsome the actor. actor. Yeah, handsome yeah. actor guy. Uh he was in like a walk to remember with mm. uh Mandy Moore, my high school girlfriend made me watch it all the time. Anyways, mm -hmm. so I like am at a party at his house, and I know him like fairly well. We've mm -hmm. I've we've been at parties together before. We've gotten drunk together. I'm like, yeah, we know each other. And he introduced me to someone. This is like years ago, and he was uh, he was like, hey, I want to introduce you to someone. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, uh, Andy, this is Eric or wh whoever the fuck he was introducing me to. And I'm like, nice. what's that? <sighs> and he's like, yeah, Andy Bovine, dude. So f have you seen Workaholics? <laughs> and I'm like. I, I stopped him in his tracks. I'm like, Bo, Bo, Bo. Motherfucker, do you? I'm like, you think my name is Andy Bovine? And he's like, yeah. And I go, my name's Adam Devine. And he goes, oh, I thought that was your stage name. Right. On the show. Saddam Devin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you thought my stage name was Andy Bo? Have you ever heard of the last name Bovine? That's a fucking insane last name. It was a family name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I come from a long line of, cow of cattle. <laughs> Unreal. You're from the Midwest, right? Isn't that like where they come from? It kind of adds up. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you break it down. Yeah, yeah you know what? Wild. I'm going back. I'm going back to it. I just, I, uh, Instagram gave me Adam Devine. I couldn't take it. I like w went with a, uh, Andy Bovine. Wait, sorry. The the handle Adam Devine was already taken when you got Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so Is somebody it, else was, had it. Was there another Adam Devine at some point, like a redhead that was had more IMDb credits uh, than you? Yeah. He no longer. Do we want to get into that? I, I mean, I just it just sprung in my memory. I don't know. You well, can finish your story by IG, but who was that guy? <laughs> oh well, he was uh, he was Adam Devine, and he was a SAG actor. Mm -hmm. Screen Actors Guild, <laughs> Pre which right. uh, before you, which you know, before I was in the the Screen Actors Guild. So then, when I joined, I could either be Adam Devine the second, Ooh, in no. the, in on IMDb or whatever. It would give you like a number two. It would, yeah. It would give me like a number two. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, fuck that. And so I was like, what if I capitalize my V, Adam Ooh. Devine with the capital V? And that. they're like, yeah, okay, then you'd be Adam Devine. And so. For years, everyone is like, and then my family is going like, wait, do you capitalize it? For, did you grow up capitalizing the V? No. Oh wow. my God. I thought you, I thought that's what you were always saying, capitalize the V. It was because that was your family name. No, no, no. It was because of 
this fucking redhead Adam Devine actor guy. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> honestly, I thought I really mine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Still like, to this what? day, I get people that are like uh, that will just capitalize the V, and and now it kind of, you know, it, it's just a thing that like irks me when it shouldn't because it doesn't matter at all. But I'm just like, that's not how you do it. <laughs> So now are you capitalized or are you back with the lowercase? I've, I've, uh, uh, my career has gone better than Redhead Adam Devine and I've reclaimed the lowercase V. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's hey, huge man. to me. I remember we used to sit around the fire yeah. at night and just talk shit on that dude. Sorry, bro. Yeah. But like, sorry, dude. My homie needed the IMDb. Sorry, all right. Bro. I, I don't even like you, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let me just say this: the fact that we're putting this out there in the ether, that dude, it's gonna come back to him, and he's gonna fucking work so hard. He's gonna I just hope charge so. for you. No, 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 because at and you guys are gonna star in a movie together. Oh, but he's he's gonna be number one on the call. No, <laughs> Adam God. Devines. No, actually, fuck that guy because I tried to. Okay, uh, I tried to buy. Uh, the, his website at adamdevine.com he was doing mm -hmm. nothing with it it was like a nothing page and uh, you're charging him you're charging him up got him <laughs> yeah he's coming for you before workaholics i tr i tried to get it and he was like uh i'll sell it to you for like five thousand dollars or something and i'm like well mm. i don't have five grand like that's a lot for me to right. spend at the time right. and then after workaholics i went back to him like after maybe season one or two and i'm like hey uh can i get that and he was like a hundred thousand dollars oh dude supply and demand bro smart oh, like, dude yeah <laughs> Yeah. I'm pissed now. Uh, come get that <laughs> shit. Come get that shit. Uh, he's a fucking business shark. Well, that's where if Tito Ortiz was uh, the the governor of IMDb, you guys could have fought for it. Oh, that's kind of cool. If we could vote him into like man, solid callback, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not forced at all. Yeah. So glad we're back to that, dude. <laughs> really, really organic. <laughs> Um, oh my God, just going to vote him into the governor of imdb.com. <laughs> is there a president of imdb? Even? I'm, I'm sure it's a it's a company, right? Yeah. There's got to be. I, I would like to uh, maybe make a... Mayim BD. That's him? I am. It's a woman. It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Me am BD. Durs, are you uh, ever coming home? Well, you're still in New York City, right? Yeah, what the fuck? Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, I was just gonna tell you, I'm coming home tomorrow. That's why I'm right. popping some bubbly. Ooh. Cheers. <laughs> sudden attack. What? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I just wrapped, I wrapped tonight. Blake, what was that one? It was about diarrhea. What is that? Is that, a, the, you're popping bubbly? Yeah, I'm in my hotel room and I'm having some Perrier Joe Grand Brut. Oh, a brute. Damn, I would love to join you. You're drinking... Champagne alone in your hotel room. <laughs> that is the saddest. <laughs> He's celebrating. I'm with my friends. I'm with three of my best friends. <laughs> that, yeah, baby. He's celebrating, dude. All right. Hey, that's true. That is true. That is true. Let me just be clear. I would have drank it anyway, but <laughs> I'm fucking zooming with my homies. That's yeah, that's uh, all right. Yeah, I rapped. I'm a rap dog. So. Uh, oh, you're done. Yes. Oh yeah, right. Because you're flying tomorrow. I rapped two, uh, an hour and a half ago. That's and I'm awesome. Flying home tomorrow. Congratulations, Anders. I bet that feels great. Oh, that yeah, that's, that's, a good, great. that's a good. Speaking feeling. of IMDb, it's it's mm. gonna be on there soon. Stack it, stack it up. That's Rack huge. it and stack it. Blake, Blake, what are you sipping on up there, brother? Well, yeah, I would love to join you, but as you guys may recall, I'm having a December <laughs> to remember, so I got a, a delicious. So how, how is old it? Milwaukee. You know, okay. Old Milwaukee NA. An old Milwaukee what? Non-alcoholic. Yeah. NA. NA. Yeah, you gotta you gotta say that. Okay, well it's America's non-alcoholic near beer. A near, near beer. beer, that's right. Near beer, I like that. Yeah. yeah. That. How's it going, dude? How's the how's the December to remember? What's up? Uh, it's pretty boring. Yeah. yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. we're getting through it. I think okay. I'm gonna have to break it tomorrow, though. Me and Adam are doing like, some nice. some whis whiskey thing. <laughs> Okay. So you're just going to break it? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not like s s straight edge or anything. It's he doesn't care. <laughs> Dude, but, straight edge. <laughs> you got to get the fucking X tats on your hands. Well, if I ever go full like I'm I'm out the game, yeah, I'm going straight edge for days. Yeah, you kind of have to. You have to. At least you're part of a 
cool team at that point. Right, at least you have friends. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, look, Adam, now Adam wants to drink alone. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you at the crib solo or what? Are you at the crib solo? No, Chloe's downstairs, uh, and I'm going to work out after this, but I figured I'm, I'm not going to let my boy drink alone, you know? <laughs> he's, not, he's not drinking alone. I, I have Old Milwaukee near beer, so he's not drinking alone. Well, that is uh, okay. that is you're not drinking. Guys, I got my I got my crystal geyser right up here. Um, I'm staying drained over here. Oh, shit, yo. Oh, Kyle's shit. getting drained. Get getting crazy wild. over here. You know that it. That a boy. That a boy. Staying hydrated. Got to drink the water. That's how it goes down. Hey, does coffee dehydrate you? Because I've been mad thirsty for water lately. I think I have coffee's a laxative, so you might be shitting water out. A yeah. diuretic. Yeah, that could now, be. Now, I haven't been shitting more. Oh, by the time. way, uh, Thank you. I, I, put, I put the tushy on. I finally, we finally got the tushy. Mm -hmm. I finally mm. uh, placed the tushy on. I needed to get larger bolts to secure the seat onto my toilet. And... Uh, I don't know if it's just Sounds my intense. water pressure. Uh, I don't know. If it's are there, how are the grips on it? Yeah, pull, pull that shit down. I bolted it down, dude. Uh, because I, I don't know about you guys, but I have like a, a nice thick ass. And so like. You know about. Wait, you said you don't know about us? Yeah, you've seen our asses. Like we haven't talked about our. I'm pretty sure you know about all of our butts. I got a good ass. Mine's thick. All right. I know about you. Yeah, you got a nice ass. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, it's not nice. It's thick. I don't know if it's nice. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> you got one. The best one of our group is Blake, for sure. Yeah! Blake's got the highest booty. Yeah, <laughs> second he's got the highest booty. Yeah. This dude is bucks. Get the fuck out of here. Second Durs. Third is Adam. No, and fourth, Kyle, I'll, I'll is, take up the rear. <laughs> that is a wildly wrong statement. The best mm. ass out of all of us? For sure, I have the best ass. That's bullshit. The second closest... I don't mean to get aggressive about this, but like that's bullshit. The second closest is is Blake's ass. Oh, like, it's, nice ass. it's high. Um, it's a high booty. I've got a, a a squatter's booty. Rotund. Wait, if I was going to say I need an ass in a movie, like a yeah. stunt ass, and I'm gonna <laughs> light by the moonlight, like Emilio Estevez in whatever that movie is, a jock, athletic ass that you're like, yes. that you shoot it from the side, it has a beautiful profile. I'll tell you who I'm casting first. I'm casting Blake. I'm Damn, telling you, son, where'd you find like, this? Hands down, <laughs> offer only. I'm not even. Ca I'm not even having him read for the part. Hey, I'm fucking right. casting him, bro. Kyle, guess what? <laughs> you're off the project. No, Adam, I'm doing well, you're the not, casting. Hang on, I, hey, I, you're not, I gotta. I gotta say, I'm with him. You're off the project. No, 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 no. You're off the project. And, and look, second, you can go on second, workaholics and look at our butts side by side, Adam. Honestly, second choice. Second choice. Blake's not available. He's already got a gig showing his ass in the moonlight somewhere. Oh, God. Right, with John, James Cameron. I'm going straight to Durs, and Durs isn't really reading either. I'm going right to his people and offering him the part. Thank you. Now, Durs is not available. It's tough if I'm going to step in myself or if I'm, <laughs> or, or I'm going to okay. call you. Okay, are you kidding? Wow. And both of All us right. are doing it side by side. Because your ass is it dumpy. Dude, it's not dumpy. I don't know. Maybe I'm, it used on. to be dumpier. I've been. I don't mean to talk shit on it. I'm going to take that back early. I've been riding 100 plus miles a week. It's just not as good I've been as doing others. a lot of a leg work. I, I'm yeah. racked and stacked down here. I am a leg fitness work. influencer. I've been doing. Doing legs three times a week. My shit is rock solid right mm. now. I would stack my ass. Do you think it up might with, just be a little <sighs> much, Adam? <laughs> oh, too much Duke? Dude, there's no, I, we're in 2020, Anders. Uh -huh. There's no such thing as a little much anymore. The Kardashians are the queen bees, okay? And their asses <laughs> are the fucking size of the moon. Tell me about Rob Kardashian's ass real quick. I don't know. I'm not. I'm talking. My no. ass is a. I have. I have a a female a, a beautiful female's ass. That is wildly incorrect. And what are we casting, Kyle? What are we casting? Yeah. Wait. What is the? What, what are we casting? We haven't no. even. What is the project? Obviously, it's a gay porno. <laughs> no, I'm actually saying. What's the movie where where like Mel Gibson in fucking Lethal Weapon? You know what I mean? Where he stands yes, okay. in the fucking train. And you got the shot of the ass. Yeah. Okay. Adam, relax. You have the gay porno on lockdown. We know that. Okay. No, 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 no. It's 
all good, but Adam's just delusional about this. You're I'm not he's, under, he's an influencer. He's influencing himself. He's delusional, dude. I'm I'm a fitness influencer. I can't let this happen. I'm I'm sorry, Kyle. I think I think your casting choices are are way off base. <laughs> They've gotten me where I am today, so I think I know what I'm doing. Which they they have been in the past. I think uh, he froze. He couldn't handle it. I want to hear more on that in a little bit. My shit froze. My internet's chunking. It's almost as chunky as Adam's ass. I, I, we, I, we've established that I'm the one that gets all the gay guys flooding my DMs, wanting to see my thick every day, uh, talking about my thick, juicy booty mm -hmm. and how it makes their fucking mouths water. Mm -hmm. nah. And these okay. guys don't get that. Don't get that same love. So nah, okay. if we're talking about uh, uh, needing men to judge hmm. other men's booties, uh, I feel we should go to uh, the gay the gay men fans <laughs> and see Adam. what they have to say. Okay, why don't we just have women judge the booties? I don't get a lot of gay guys. I get women in the in the DMs, but I don't get a lot of gay guys. Why don't we just have women judge these booties? I feel like the women are gonna go to Blake first. I'm no, making no, no. this shot. This shot isn't necessarily for gay dudes. This shot is for women. <laughs> And Blake's hair, when it's wet, probably goes all the way down to the crack and just kind of like oh. leads your eyes. That it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And I'm saying that from, <laughs> I'm saying that from like a, uh, an art perspective, not from okay. anything really sexual. Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> like an artistic perspective, Blake wins. Bumblebee tuna. I'm not, see, I guess that's where uh, we're not. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. We're shooting a hardcore <laughs> gay porno. And well, that's not I'm what saying, I'm making. I'm saying my ass Wait. is the star. <laughs> you know how the Seinfeld reunion was on Curb Your Enthusiasm in a, in a fun, weird way that they were like, oh, it's not going to be Seinfeld. It's going to be on Curb. Right. Mm -hmm. The Workaholics reunion is just going to be a gay porno. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna fuck each other and be like, but it's it's funny because it wasn't a workaholics episode. See how creative we are? Jillian, good news. We can shoot you out in a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on in, big air griffin. We got your <laughs> Jillian yeah. delivers a pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do yeah. we have crickets? We yeah. got crickets I'm, on the uh... I'm off the project. <laughs> Oh yeah, he took himself. Oh, uh, my off. internet is chunking right now. He's uh, he's he took himself off the project, dude. Okay. I'm telling you, you haven't seen my ass in a long time. It is <laughs> rock solid right now. It is. Yeah, but I know it's still. I know your cheeks are still longer than Blake's. Blake's is taut, dude. There's no way your cheeks shrunk. Right, right. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? They look like they uh, like yeah. hams. They look like hams. They're not like wow. yeah, two delicious hams. Two delicious mm -mm. long hams. They look like two long hams. Hams that have oh been like gosh. left out in the sun. Blake's butt has like a a narrowness to it that's pleasant. <laughs> Adam, yours is like a square, a squarishness that Mine? doesn't look formidable. It's formidable, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> he has a formidable ass. That is. I just don't know if it's appetizing as much as it is. No, I think it is. I think it is appetizing. I think if if we were, there's the most meat there, and I'm talking about the good meat. Dude. I'm not talking about fa the fatty a butt steak. wagyu <laughs> steak. I'm talking about like just a nice. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Oh, come on. Uh, hawk, hawk. Bro, you realize that you're the only one defending your own <laughs> ass here, dude. Like, everybody's in agreement. You have a formidable hiney. No one's saying it's not formidable. Not afraid. Your hiney is not the star, okay? Oh, okay. Well, well if we're just going butt to butt comparison, that's mm. all I'm doing. Just butt to butt. That's all I'm doing. I'm not talking about how you act in a gay porno. Hey, guess what? Can can we post can we post butts on Instagram or is Wait, that do we have I to take this to an OnlyFans? No, no. If we put on thongs, we could do it. Let's start let's start an OnlyFans. Wait, let's Adam. start an OnlyFans. I think Durs is actually going to be the sleeper winner if we did that. I really think that I appreciate that. But wait, yeah. Adam, let me just let me just circle back to when Adam just said are we only talking about butts? <laughs> right. What do you yes. think we're talking about? <laughs> like, as opposed to like butts and what? Thighs? Well, I'm talking about like, no, I'm talking about hair situation. I'm talking. It's all, it's all of it. Butt hair. I mean, do we want to break it down by category as far as like. Dude. I'm saying you put, you put, you slide <laughs> these, these ham hocks into some tight jeans and you shoot it. You shoot it from from the left. I'm talking nude butt. Like profile? I'm talking a nude butt. And you, yeah, your profile. My my profile is. Oh, so you're shooting a nude butt, and you're, <laughs> you you 
you you were talking about Lethal Weapon with him in jeans, and now you're talking about a nude butt. No, the, you know the shot I'm talking about when he wakes up naked, and it's like he's like yes, yes, contemplating I, suicide, like he's popper. Uh, yeah, we know he's it. Popping roach in it, you know what I mean? It's very blue. Yeah, it's it's lit very blue. It's a moonlight walk. It's precoital. Oh, dude, my ass looks good in blue. Blue's my color. Is it pre? It's pre-coital, right? Or post- Before sex? Oh, is it pre? Uh, you know what? I might be thinking of uh, Loaded Weapon, the send-up with Emilio Estevez. Well, that's really what I'm talking about here because that's where they did it perfectly. It's like the perfect ass for Emilio Estevez. And for you guys at home, Loaded Weapon was a... Ch not Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez spoof right. of with, uh, Lethal Weapon and other movies like that in the 90s. With uh, Samuel L. That we would constantly reference right. <laughs> right. in the workaholics writer's room uh, as our kind of, you know, at the top of the totem pole of comedy. Well, I think what it was poking fun at was the fact that, Adam, in the 90s, there was a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> movies. Hey, it's my friend Blake in the 90s in Anderson. The 90s. <laughs> well, every it seemed like every movie where it was like guys the oldest man alive, <laughs> a leading man, they had the gratuitous butt shot. Like, yes. Dude, and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Van Damme got it. Gibson got it. Van Damme got it. Adam, bro. I'm saying I've had gratuitous butt shots all in movies already. And the people liked. Wait, we you've been fired off of a commercial for your butt. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Honestly, what is going on, dude? That's before. That's before thick asses. First of all, I was I had more body fat at that time by a lot. Now I'm 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 I. And that's a bad thing. Are you fat shaming? I leaned up. I'm fat shaming myself, and I was fatter <laughs> then. It didn't look good. It did not look good in those <laughs> uh, dockers oh, that they scrapped me in for the Domino's commercial. Yeah, I got fired because of my fat ass in a Domino's commercial. Maybe this is why you're not hearing us because that moment stung Kyle, so bad, we're bro. That, like you're, you're, Kyle. Like, you're fucking like you cannot hear this. Kyle, don't you realize you're Kyle. throwing? <laughs> for those of you at home, the clapping sound is Adam's butt cheeks. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> what that was. Almost 15 years ago, my I'm man. Not that saying, is a lifetime ago. I'm not saying you don't take care of yourself. I've been doing lots of squats. I'm not saying you don't, you don't. I'm your friend. Dude, I'm saying you saw me nude. <laughs> I'm a fitness influencer now. I am your friend. I'm your friend, Adam. I'm your friend. And I'm telling you this. Hey, can I just say, Adam's I think, crying. I think, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Adam's crying. <laughs> this is tough. I'm just trying to hold my ground. Hang I said, on. out of the four of us, I just ranked the four of us. That's all I did. I didn't say you can't be, your butt can't be shot by a film camera. I'm just saying hang out of the four of us, I'm casting Blake, offer a only. film camera. <laughs> Durs right. is like going to be the, Durs is right up there. You, I'm. Um, not hey, what are you're making me audition for the part. Is that what you're saying? Pull your fucking butt out. Let's go. <laughs> let's I will show go. You <laughs> All right, let's see the butt. Let's see it. Why are we talking okay. about hey, posting it later? Look let's at him, see look this at shit. him clench it, dude. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, it's got hell no yeah. shape. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't really have that much. It doesn't I'm have, sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't have shape. Yeah, dude. Where I does your you butt were, cheek end and your thigh you, well, start? Well, now you're trying to show your dink, but <laughs> I, yeah, I, we think get you, it. I think you damn near bike rode your ass off. I think dude. it was a bad angle. I don't think, <laughs> I think it was a bad angle right there. I admit, oh, when I saw, I saw my ass in the monitor and it wasn't. <laughs> Wasn't what was you remember, it? huh? I can tell you. I can tell you exactly where the difference is that I'm spotting. <laughs> you want to see it, bro? <laughs> yeah, I can you tell see you. It? It's at the bottom of your ass, dude. Yeah. It's your crevasse. It's the spot where your cheek meets your thigh. It's yeah. not defined. Like mm. Blake's is defined, so mm -hmm. I know where the butt starts from the bottom up. Well, oh, really? Let's see Blake's ass. Let's see Blake's ass. I don't. My ass? Why am I? I already got the part. Last time I saw it, I don't think it was defined. Yeah, he's offer only. He's already signing contracts, doggy. <laughs> hey, I'm making I'm making my own film. I'm making my own film. <laughs> wait, and it's you are? pretty wait. it's cool. You're starring in it, I guess. What's the premise? 
No, I'm not. I'm I'm casting. I'm, I want to see what's out there. I think uh -huh. you're, I think you're gonna cast somebody and then fire them when it comes what? down to shooting because you hey, you want we'll it so see. bad. I think he's casting a, a sequel to Free Solo, climbing up a flat uh, mountain of meat like that. Uh, no. hey, no. Dude, admit it, well, admittedly, no. I feel uh, that that was not my best showing. I just, the, kind of the angle yeah. wasn't really working for me, and I feel. Hey, uh, you can change up the angle. I'd ha be happy to workshop another yeah, angle. Can we get the DP in here? I'll give you four <laughs> weeks. By the way, I'll give. I want to give you four weeks, and I'm sure we can have a screenshot of that before. And in four weeks, let's see what we're dealing with here. In one month, <laughs> I'm coming back, and uh, you will see. You're you're gonna have to completely change your your fitness fitness regimen. You're gonna have to go full, just honey buns. That's fine. He's an influencer. That's fine. Honey buns and squats. I'm sorry. Do you not even... I, it's like you don't even know my lifestyle. My lifestyle <laughs> is fitness, Blake. It's all I do. I understand that, but you're working... All day, every day. I wake up and I, I my eyes snap open and I'm like, mm -hmm. how do I better myself and influence those around me? Right. That's all I'm thinking as a fitness influencer. While you're doing that, you are losing the ass that you have in your mind. I think Blake's right. You might huh. be working it all away. You might be, chi you might be, it might be falling you're, off, man. You're, you're chipping away at Mount Mount Rushmore. I'm peddling the meat off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, you might have had a better butt 15 years ago in that commercial. Oh, wow. Wow. And they were overwhelmed. They were like, whoa, like we can't handle wow. this. People will start fucking their TVs. You have to, which is not <laughs> yeah! which is not healthy. You can't do that. They'll get, to, they'll get too horny. That makes sense. You have to slim your thighs down. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> uh, first of all, Kyle, no, I don't, dude. I just saw it. My thighs are fucking awesome, dude. Big thighs. Do you have to slim them down if your ass is going to be that small? If my ass is... Now I have a small ass? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, you have no, you have no bottom definition, homeboy. <laughs> That is insane. Where it was Sorry. a bad angle. It was shot for the f all good. Look, these are just these are thoughts. You know what I mean? That's it. Take them or leave them. It's an them. opinion. That's an yeah, opinion. These are my opinion. And I love you. I okay. love you. Obviously, obvious. Kyle has a vision for this movie. You know, we're not in his head, but you know, wait, wait a second. Yeah. It just came sure. down to it. All right, done. That's good. What's up, Durs? What's what's, what's on your mind, buddy? I just I just feel bad for Adam because I know the pride that he takes in his butt. No, it's okay. And well, think about I it. Though. I honestly don't know who he is without it. Well, it's here's fine. the thing, though. <laughs> here's the thing. Adam <laughs> pulls down his pants and shows us his butt, and we're like, oh, okay, okay. Blake got the part. Durs got the part. But hey, pull down your pants and turn around, and you mm -hmm. got the best dick. <laughs> we filmed it. Hey, you know what I mean. Thank you. We filmed it. So like Yeah, it's the best dick we've filmed. You can't have it all. It's 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 like you just uh <laughs> you, you can. just can't. Bro. You can. You can. You can. Like your dick is a part of one of the <laughs> best scenes we've ever filmed as a crew. Yeah, as that is that's true. one of the best scenes that's Netflix. I would put that that whole sequence of events against We're talking game game over man right. on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Game over man, the movie we made for Netflix mm -hmm. uh, where we a uh, 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 hotel got taken over, we were the maids. We had to save the day in a die hard taken over by terrorists, yeah. Type 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 way. Taken over by terrorists. Uh, and there's a scene where terrorists are coming into the hotel room that Blake, Adam and I our characters are in and we have to scramble and Adam's character comes up with an idea where he will pretend to be a guy who's dead in a closet from erotic, autoerotic asphyxiation. Mm -hmm. And while they're distracted looking at Adam, who was fully fucking naked in this movie, mm -hmm. Blake and I attack, but then the uh, terrorists turn out to be lovers. They start fucking, it's... and the whole plan goes south. As, as they do. <laughs> it's legendary. As they do. As they do. Uh, and I would say that I would put that whole sequence up against anything else on Netflix. It's better. Without oh. a doubt. It's the best. That is the funniest scene uh, out of any comedy that I've seen in the past uh, five years, for sure. Yeah, the funniest scene. It's yeah. truly a laugh riot, by definition. Uh, but then you see 
my ass from the side. <laughs> right. And you're like, good damn. That is something well, else. That is a, you that see is your movie. nuts and taint from the front, from the from the best possible angle. That is true. Yeah, you also saw your grundle. Yeah, you do. You do see. All you right. do see my yeah nuts and taint and whole uh, dick. Yeah, you see your whole entire dick. You see your balls. You see your grundle. And we shot it all. And you did put put it out there, man. And you fucking earned that shit, player. His brain. Like, you did. Hey, you really did. Because when we wrote it, we didn't think that we would be shooting it in such a way that it would be. So gratuitous. Yeah. <laughs> so fully frontal. And then we really went for it. Yeah. I was not, I was planning on having like a, uh, a prosthetic dick. And when we got into pre production and Adam finally came out and we were about to shoot, I said, Adam, look, I got him building this prosthetic dick. What do you think? And he's like, Kyle, I've made peace with the world. I'm mm -hmm. going to show them my dick. Mm -hmm. And I said, all right. Mm. Powerful. I wanted to show, uh, the world, my dick, and yeah. and there it is. But the, here's the bummer, and this is why. Yeah, and I and I took that cue. I took that cue, and I shot the shit out of it. I I get it. <laughs> I get it. With the, you guys are uh, appeasing me because you were just, uh, for lack of a better term, shitting on my ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Diarrhea. <laughs> Your diarrhea was shit on top. You were shitting on my ass, and so you gave me compliments. To my dick, and I understand that you know that I uh, I needed that because I do hang my hat on on my ass. Uh, <laughs> well, don't make us really feel bad about it. You <laughs> should really be hanging your hat on your dick, bro. You can't work out. Are you saying thank you, or are you saying no thank you? Uh, no, no. I I think you were no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I appreciate what you're doing. I okay. appreciate what you're doing. I think you were pretty clear. We were shitting on your ass, so <laughs> we were shitting on your, your dick. Uh, yeah. yeah, and and uh, I I do appreciate that, that. But you cannot work out your dick. And I, as a fitness influencer mm -hmm. who takes great pride in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is really Gluteus Maximus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there anything, a, a such thing as a dickness influencer where like everything <laughs> you post is about your dick and like treating it right and like getting Absolutely. it to like be its best? Oh, like. Should I do that? Like, like, yeah. a, like yeah. a dick care? Like a, like a self care, but only for your penis? Only about your dick. Like how to like keep the skin right, how to get it bigger, mm -hmm. how to keep it going, how to like, uh, you know, manscape and all that. Is, is Manscape a thing? Well, you, that could be a spinoff of of uh, of Ma Manscape, one of our one of our sponsors. Kyle's movie. <laughs> it could be a spinoff. It could be the sequel to Kyle's movie that he's shooting. The I don't Manscaped. know the plot exactly, but <laughs> what with the butt sure. shot? My yeah, butt, shot butt shot is shot. Yeah, you're, we're going to start uh, with the butt shot, and we're going to pretty much just feel it out from there. Yeah, I'm just totally. lighting one shot. No, I want I want to be in the sequel because you said you're going to give the first one to Blake, right? And then I'll be in the sequel as like the new butt on the scene. <laughs> That's so good. And then I'll be like the home video version where it's not even streaming. You have yeah. to get a VHS. Uh, <laughs> You're Home Alone three, where it's just a di it's different bad guys and a different kid. Yeah. And you're like what is straight this? to DVD? It's just not the same movie at all. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody got the rights to the butts, but it's not the same character. Yeah. I like that. Is there? Any compliments, <laughs> take backs. I'm sorry. There's no way it's already time for that. <laughs> or apologies. Yeah, uh, it is. He, yeah, what? A Adam's it? calling it. He's yeah. bailing, man. Yeah, I feel man. like we still had a good four minutes left, but hey, man, I, I, I get it. Oh, my God. This dude's ready to rock. I get he it. He wants to get going. So we're taking it back. Wait, we take, yeah, take backs, compliments, and apologies. Kyle, what? Do you have any take backs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow, you're fishing for it, huh? Compliments? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Do you have any take backs? Uh, uh, compliments mm. or apologies? Compliments or apologies. Yeah. Me? Mm -hmm. Take backs, backsides. Um, um, you know, let me think. Let me walk back through it. What did we talk about again? What were it's the okay. things that I might have no, taken back? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what was this here? I guess okay. I'd like to take back my what I said about Dave Chappelle and said he wasn't oh. funny sometimes. He was funny the whole time. Oh, it was wow. No, he wasn't. Watch him. That's a big endorsement. Oh, he wasn't yeah. funny for four hours, bro. I was sitting right there. I was like... <laughs> it was an honor to watch him up there. I just don't want people to get the wrong idea. It was. I'm not saying it wasn't an honor. It was yeah. fucking sick because he hadn't shown right. his face forever and we were there. 
but the anticipation of waiting for like the funniest thing you've ever seen just never happened. And uh, true, it wasn't I funny all the time. And I guess he still is not like <laughs> he still is. He's riding that wave now. He's become more of a thoughtful speaker. Yeah, he's got a fucking. Yeah. He's got a nice ass. He does. I yeah, that a great I would ass. love to see. Yeah, uh-huh. fantastic. Ass. Probably a great. Probably a great dick. But I guess in terms of other takebacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any. I'm not feeling any really. You don't. You don't cool. have uh, compliments on anybody. Not any compliments or compliment to Blake's Anything? ass. Definitely. Mm. Just. Mm. Just. I'll do that mm. again. I think I. Thank you. Oh wow, well, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, mm. and compliment to Durs's mm. ass too, because it's really good as well. Mm. Appreciate it. Really <laughs> <great>. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Yeah. And Adam, stuff. compliments to your dick, dude. Compliments to your dick. Straight up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Homie. Straight up compliments you. to your dick, homie. I'll give a compliment to Adam for um, yeah. pulling his fucking butt out. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Dropping trow. You know, even though it didn't pan out, it didn't pan out the way he was hoping. Um, I got something for the spank bank later. Yeah, you do. You know what I mean? <laughs> just alone in a hotel room, <laughs> drinking a little champagne. I'm saying I just I don't think maybe Kyle isn't into female crossfaders' bodies. Because Possibly. that's basically what I have. Bro, come on. Don't revisit Oh, uh, You know that he is. <laughs> I yeah. don't think he is. He must not be. He must uh, like them uh, squishier, uh, you know, not as chiseled and defined. And that's okay. Yeah. Mm. And I'd like uh. to compliment your specific taste, and that works for you. <laughs> uh, and I just want to kind of compliment Kyle and his vision. It's just always so clear what he wants, and it's it's just – I commend you because you always paint the picture, and I, as much as I, I don't have a script, I don't know much about it, but I see what you're going for, and mm-hmm. I think you picked the right guy, and I appreciate you. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah, you always go off of a, an emotional feeling, mm-hmm. um, you know, an, an animal instinct of mm-hmm. what is true, uh-huh. and uh, you didn't... You didn't um, Disappointed today, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to compliment Dursey on drinking champagne alone in his hotel room. Yeah, that uh, is maybe the last type of alcohol that I would drink just <laughs> so on its own. But uh, hey, big uh, big shouts out to you rapping today, and that's that is quite the uh, the celebratory compliment drink. to Durs rapping. Why is it the last? What do you what what I because there's hard alcohol in here. But I was like, am I really going to start slamming vodka? Mm. And then there's beer, but I'm like, beer? I probably, I know beer that they schmear. always, there's always like a, a decent whiskey in hotel room bars. And that's what I would probably drink. There's a Dewar's and there's a Maker's Mark Little Dog. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably drink those. Yeah, but those are in my asshole right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bully. <laughs> so I uh, don't oh like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you um, doing? That's, that's why you wouldn't. That's why you wouldn't show us your ass earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I, what that was. <laughs> what's that little uh, melted wax cap hanging out of your asshole? Oh, that's, oh, um, this it's a Maker's Mark Mini. <laughs> it was uh, s- something from uh, on set. It, it just it's a funny on set prank. Well, I will, and I also compliment Adam, and not and not really mm. coming after Blake or I about what mm. about our butts and saying that his is. Well, I think th- see that this is his is better than ours. He was just he was you were you were tooting your own horn, and hey, you're <laughs> big up in yourself. I appreciate that. I will never say that I don't have a great ass. I truly believe that I have a stellar backside rig. I truly yeah. believe that my my dick. I I disagree with my dick. I think my dick is perfectly fine. Self love, baby. My ass is an is an A plus ass, and you could disagree with that. I also think, hey, I'm in great company because Blake and Durs have great, meaty, nice looking asses. See, now the perspective is what you should be looking at. Exactly, because there's four of us on the call. I'm I'm saying I'm in great great company here. Yeah, Kyle, there's, I don't there's, think your ass is in our in a, in our sort of realm of amazing. I know this, and I okay. I put myself okay. last. I said I'm happy to bring up the rear. Okay, mm. that's funny. That's funny. That is Thank funny. You. <laughs> that Damn, is. I'm happy. I'm not even in it. And I think the people at home are going to be glad that we brought up the rear on this episode of uh, <laughs> this, this is, is important. important. <laughs> All right, see you soon. <laughs>